Hi everyone, welcome to an another video. We received some suggestions from our subscribers to make a video on interview questions for freshers. In this video, we are going to see some frequently asked medical coding interview questions for freshers. Before going into topic, if you find this video is informative, hit the like button because that will motivate me to make more videos. Let's begin. First, we will see requirements to get a job in medical coding. Any bachelor's or master's degree, preferably from a life science background such as biotechnology, microbiology, botany, zoology, B-form, nursing, physiotherapy and biochemistry. Only few companies recruiting non-life science graduate with certification or without certification. It totally depends on the company needs. If you are a non-life science graduate and want a job in medical coding, you need to complete any one of the certification from AAPC or AGIMA. CPC is most preferable. End of this video. We will be sharing which are the medical coding companies hiring freshers. So please don't skip this video. Let's discuss frequently asked interview questions. Interview will be conducted in three rounds. First one will be written test. Second one is technical round. And the third one is HR round. Commonly, every interview begins with tell me about yourself. To make you comfortable and themselves also. So you have to be ready with your tell me about yourself before going to the interview. Next question. What is medical coding? This is a definite question. Every interviewer will ask because they want to understand your views on the subject. I have given a definition. I will explain the process. As a medical coder, we need to analyze the patient's medical record and translates them into standard alphanumeric codes. This is called medical coding. What is the role of medical coder? After a medical provider, that means a doctor, treats the patient, insurance company needs to process the bill so that they want to understand what was done in order to process the payment. Based on the patient's diagnosis and procedure, payment will be varied. Insurance company cannot treat each and every line of medical record to make payment. Here comes our medical coder role. As a medical coder, we need to analyze the medical record and transform the diagnosis and procedures into alphanumeric codes. For every course, money value will be generated. After that, payer will process the payment. This is the process. You can understand this process and explain it on your own words. What is revenue cycle management? As I explained the process before, to track the revenue from patient from the initial appointment with the doctor to the final payment of a balance, this process is called revenue cycle management. Explain any human organ system. For this question, interviewer can ask us to explain any organ system or else they will particularly ask explain respiratory system or else explain digestive system like that. So prepare 12 organ system anatomy and physiology. We already made video on cardiovascular system. We will post other system as well on upcoming videos. Next question is difference between acute and chronic disease. Acute means that occur suddenly and that is short term. But it needs immediate medical attention. Example heart attack. Chronic means it occurs over a period of time and stay longer in the body. Maybe for a lifetime. This is called chronic disease. Example, diabetes. Then explain conditions. Interviewer will ask us to explain chronic conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, cancer and acute conditions such as heart attack, pneumonia, ulcer, appendicitis, etc. These are some of the examples. 
you can google the definitions and explain it on your own words simple explanation is enough difference between traumatic fracture and pathological fracture if fracture occurs due to any accident or fall this is called traumatic fracture and fractures occur due to any disease conditions such as osteoporosis or osteomalacia this is called pathological fracture then name the parts of the organ system in some companies they will ask us to mark the parts of the organ system so you better prepare 12 organ system parts name and their important functions most frequently asked are digestive system and skeletal system then they also ask questions as below number of bones in human body 206 number of milk teeth 20 largest artery in human body aorta number of muscles 639 largest sesamoid bone patella largest vein in the human body great saphenius vein number of vertebra in spine 33 voice box is also called larynx heel bone is called calcaneus these are most frequently asked question next question you can expect medical terminologies interviewer will definitely ask the medical terms of any organs or procedures so you must prepare the medical terms these are some of the examples kidney nephro stomach gastro testis archi liver hepato bone osteo stone calculus removal ectomy repair plasty next one interviewer will ask few expansion of medical abbreviations such as turp transurethral resection of prostate wbc white blood cells rbc red blood cells bmi body mass index uri upper respiratory infection sob shortness of breath uti urinary tract infection sle systemic lupus erythematous esrd end stage renal disease these are the companies hiring freshers now optum cora health claras rcm and gives for more details on current updates join us on our telegram channel hi hope you got an idea about question pattern if you have any queries and suggestion please let us know if you want video on interview questions for experience post it in comment box if you find this video is informative please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos all the best and do well your interview thanks for watching till next video bye bye